So coming up this weekend, we have the seventh Labor Cup. But almost a decade of Labor Cups. Let's go have a look at who's actually playing this year's Labor Cup because it's actually pretty stacked. Starting with Team World, a little less stacked, and it could have been really, really stacked, but we've got Taylor Fritz, number seven in the world. He is the best player in the team. Tiafo, number 16 in the world, is the second best in the team. Shelton at number 17 is the third. You've got Tabillo at 22, Zarundalo at 31, and Kokonakis at 78 in the team. And of course, Kokonakis and Zarundalo came in for Demonor and Paul. So unfortunately, Team World could have been a lot stronger had there not been injuries to those two key players. But still, it's a pretty strong team if the matchups are correct because certain players on this side can beat some players on Team Europe. Having a look at Team Europe now and you've got Alexander Zverev he is the number one in the team, number two ranking in the world. Carlos Alcaraz, he got called up first. I think he was the first player confirmed like a week after last year's Labor Cup by Bjorn Borg. He's number three in the world. He's in the team for the first time. Medvedev, number five in the world. He's also in the team. Kasper Ruud's back, number nine in the world at the moment. You've got Dimitrov at number 10 in the world. He's into the team. And also Pass, the number 12 in the world, is also in the team. So a lot of those players returning to the Labor Cup. Of course, Zverev has been almost the MVP of the Labor Cup in its history. I think he's played almost more matches than anybody else but Federer. So really interested to see how he plays. Obviously, Alcaraz playing for the first First time, he really is taking this seriously as well. So, really keen to see how the matchups go between Team Europe and Team World because, like usual, Team Europe are stacked. Team World, the underdogs, but there are some matches there that could be in Team World's favor if they do get them. So, there it is. That is the Labor Cup lineups as of now. And there's also some alternates there as well. We've got Struff and Kaboli, the alternates for Team Europe. Team World, I don't know who the alternates are, but I guess we'll find out over the next couple of days. But who's going to win the Labor Cup? Let me do that in the comments below. Of course, Team World have won the last two. And remember, two years ago, with Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Murray playing for Team Europe, they lost. So even with the best of the best playing, it's still a chance for Team World to get a win if they get those matchups right. And also if they win the doubles, I think the doubles is definitely Team World's favor. But Labor Cup teams confirmed. Everything starts on Friday.